Isn't it nice that you're following along with me in this adventure? I'm gonna prop this up so you can actually see what happens if in fact I die. Okay, here we go. Hello, my materialistic minions. Bo Shevisu here coming to you with a smart thermostat. I originally tried the Nest. It did not work. I went through so much tech support with them. Oh, they sent me a replacement unit. Oh, guys, it was a nightmare. So instead, I opted for the Eco B3. This little guy works wonderfully on my HVAC system. Oh, I have a gas furnace down in my garage, which I'm gonna run down there in just a moment and show you. But first of all, let's kind of work backwards and show you what this thing looks like. And uh, so what I mostly like about this guy is the fact that I can have a schedule on this and I change this every few days. Um, but it's so nice when, you know, like if I wake up at four in the morning, it's nice to actually walk out to a warm house. Uh, because in order for it to get to that, um, let's say you set it for 4 a.m., the heat will probably click on around 3.30 because it takes a little while to get to that point. So it's that smart. Very, very intelligent little uh, smart thermostat here. Also, do keep in mind that I am actually connected to uh, my Wi-Fi that is five gigahertz, not 2.4. For some reason, it would not connect to my 2.4 gigahertz. So keep that in mind if in fact uh, you are having difficulty connecting this to your Wi-Fi. Uh, now, I originally had this little guy right here from Honeywell, and uh, it, it's a nice thermostat, but um, you know, it just wasn't smart. It wasn't connected to my smartphone. And it's so nice when I'm laying there in bed and, and my wife rolls over and says, hey honey, did you turn off the heat? And I'm like, oh, I'm already in bed. I know, total first world problem. But this actually happened last night. And I just rolled over, picked up my phone and turned off the heat for the night. How nice is that? Now, of course, if it's on schedule, you don't have to worry about manually turning it off and on like that. But let's go ahead and take this little guy off so you can kind of get a sneak peek under the hood. By the way, their instruction manual is absolutely phenomenal. It is just the simplest instruction manual I have ever seen in my life. It really is step by step by step. Now the huge thing with this guy is that I actually had to, oh, 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 let's see if it comes off. Oh boy, that feels uncomfortable just ripping it off like that. Now let's get a close up of what I have right there. Originally, I had the C wire, which is the blue wire typically, connected. That's called the common wire. And Nest could not figure it out. They said, well, disconnect it. So I disconnected it. It was not getting enough power to my Nest. And they said, well, there's no consistent trickle of power. Are you, sure you, are you sure you have enough? And I said, yes, it works just fine with my Honeywell. There's something wrong with your Nest. There must be. They sent me another one. Long story short, Nest does not work. It just did not work at all. It would not get enough power. And it actually said that. It was, I, I anyway, I'm not gonna go into slamming on the Nest. What you want to know is will the Ecobee work without a common wire. And yes, it does work without a common wire. You can kind of see the little blue guy right there. I should probably tape that off. Um, but you know what? There's not a lot much, not, not much electricity going into that. So I have the, the red. By the way, the RC and the RH are interchangeable. You can stick it into whatever one of those you like. So for my HVAC system, again, it's just a gas furnace, so it's just giving me heat and a fan. The fan, of course, blows the heat. I have RC. I have the, uh, oh, 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 wait a sec. That little C wire, that little common wire is in there. Oh, do you know why? Well, it's not actually the blue common wire. Ecobee is so wonderful that they actually give you a little tiny box that basically allows you to have consistent power. The Nest does not give you this little box, and I'm actually gonna show you right now in my gas furnace. Okay, we're good to go. We got the cover off. All right, so if you look very closely in here, those are my wires right there, these little guys. Those go all the way up towards uh, my thermostat up there, snaking through the wall. Now you'll notice this little guy right here. What in the world is this? This little guy is given to you by Ecobee. 
if in fact you're having issues with your common wire, which odds are if you're watching this video, that little blue wire is not, is not working and it's probably confusing Nest incredibly. Well, they offer this little converter type thing that uh, has a magnet on the back, by the way, and this will give you consistent power and it basically makes its own common wire. And so if you have an old enough system that looks probably something similar to this guy right here, um, I don't really know what all those numbers mean in there, but all you gotta know is that this house was built back in the early 80s and uh, Nest said, this old system will work. And it does not work with Nest, but it does work with Ecobee. So guys, if you are frustrated with Nest, I would recommend that you just go ahead and return it and not deal with their tech support, even though their tech support was very nice, but I don't question their character, I question their product. And instead get the Ecobee and go ahead and try installing this little guy to create your own common wire and uh, just follow the instructions on the little Ecobee booklet. That's another nice thing is that Ecobee actually gives you a manual instead of uh, you having to walk through an app. Nothing against an app, but it's so nice to flip back and forth in a manual and refer to the different pages. So they give you a physical manual, which is so incredibly nice. So that's it. I don't know if you have the same system or the same problems that I was having with the common blue wire, um, but I just completely pulled it out and I used Ecobee's little setup to basically create my own common wire. And I don't know how it works, but it does work 100%. My name is Bo Chevesu. I uh, look forward to hearing whether or not your HVAC system works with your Ecobee. Catch you later.